Okay, here with Max Medilli. Uh, Max, uh, your first taste of kind of Champions Cup rugby last week. Um, first of all, you know, after the game, having you know crossed the whitewash and all that, how did you feel? Um, yeah, it was nice. Obviously, it's good on a personal level to uh, get over the whitewash. But I think the main thing for me was uh, 70 minutes in the Champions Cup. Really, it's nice to get the first start out of the way and um, just get out there really in a chief shirt again, which has been a while. But uh, yeah, it was nice to get out there again. Talk us a bit about your development because you're back at the Pirates on Jewel Reg at the moment. And how have you found your game has improved since the last time Chiefs people saw you play in the LV Cup last season? Um, I think probably the main thing is just regular game time. Obviously down there I'm getting picked most weeks, which is obviously what I want. And uh, playing 80 minutes, it does give you what you need really. I think when I'm young, I think 80 minutes every week is what people need to move on and move forward. And it's obviously proven down there that boys do go down there and come back up and get into the first team. So. For me, I'm just looking to do the same thing, really. Is it tough to adapt one week being at the Mene with, with the greatest respect to the world? Is it quite the same arena as Bordeaux away a, a week or two later? How, is it difficult to kind of switch between the two? Um, a little bit, but I guess obviously the main thing is just switching into the structure, the game plan of the Chiefs and then going back down to Pirates. I think the main thing for me is just concentration, uh, trying to switch in as quick as I can really and not missing out on too much while I'm going down and while I'm coming back really. You're obviously very you know, highly thought of here and obviously very highly thought of at the Pirates. Uh, from your point of view, what are the uh, ambitions and aims between kind of now and the end of the season? Obviously, you, you know, you'll probably feature again in this final Champions Cup game, but you know, with looking towards the Premiership and things like that. Um, I guess for me, the, the main target is probably just to stay up at Chiefs for as long as I can. Obviously, if I'm up here, it means I'm going to be in, in and around the mix, really, of getting inside. So. Obviously, if I go down to Pirates, that's happy days because hopefully I'll be playing again down there. But if I'm staying up here, I just need to push hard and try and get in the squad when I can, really. And tell us about that challenge, how difficult it is, you know, because you've got, whether it's at full back or it's a bit further up the field, there's a lot of class and a lot of quality vying with you, isn't there? Yeah, definitely. I mean, obviously, with the, with the Six Nations squad just being announced, I mean, Nolsey, Slady, and uh, Hilly are three centres that have been announced in the same squad. So, obviously, there's a lot of competition for me, but I think it's a lot. I can use them to feed off as well and take a lot of knowledge from them, which hopefully will just push me forward as a player. You mentioned the Six Nations and those three players who will be, who'll be away with England and we, we hope that they do really well, uh, or they're out injured at the moment, obviously. Is that perhaps even more of your focus, that Six Nations block where there are some absentees and Rob Baxter has to fill those places with somebody and, and, and would you like to be that person to fill them? Um, yeah, I think obviously it's probably going to be a, a better chance for me playing because the boys are going to be away a little bit more. But for me, I think it's just week by week. If the chance comes, then obviously it's down to me then to take it and just try and push forward and then go for the next week, then push on really. But at the moment, I'm just taking it week by week really. You know, you look at the Osprey side this coming week and um, tell us a bit about where you feel the threats lie. What, what are you looking forward to kind of facing that side? Uh, obviously, they've got class all around the park really. but. Um, I think it's going to be a bit of a mental challenge for us as well. They're going to be coming pretty hard. Obviously, they're pushing for the group, and obviously, we can still play for the group as well. So, I think uh, coming with, from a bit of backlash as well from uh, Bordeaux, everything's to play for really. So, it's going to be two good sides going at it. I think for us, we've just got to switch back. Obviously, we don't we don't lose at home very often, which is something we take a lot of pride in. So, I think we should just go with that and try and push hard. You look at the, you, you said about the fact that Exeter can still qualify and. Is that good to have it, in, although it's not in your hands, is it good to have that goal going into the final game that you could, if results go your way, make it to the top eight? Yeah, I think so. I mean, it's always nice to have something to play for at the end of the group. I think we haven't lost yet at home in the Champions Cup, which is always nice. Um, and to be honest, if we can go there unbeaten and, and home, I think that's not always a bad thing, really. Even if we don't go through, uh, three wins at home is probably a good result. And Max Bidilli to score a few more tries? <laughs> Hopefully, if I get on, I've got to get on first. But yeah, it'd be nice to do that. In terms of last week, Max Bordeaux, you took a lot from that game, didn't you, personally and as a collective? The group of, weren't too dented after it. No, I think, although, although obviously we lost the game, I think there were a lot of positives to show from the group. Um, the boys put a lot of effort out there, and I think um, the boys just worked hard, really. Although there was, a, there was quite a few changes in the squad, everyone sort of put the hand up and showed what they were about, which is always good. There's a lot of chat always about the squad that's on offer here this this year and the, the depth that's there and 13 changes last week and to be honest it didn't look a, a huge amount different against what was probably the first choice of Bordeaux side last week. Yeah, yeah I, would, I think I would agree with that. Obviously there was a lot of changes on our side 
and I think probably when the team came out a lot of boys questioned what the result was going to be when they saw their team as well but I think everyone gave a good account of themselves in, from our side I don't think any, we could have given it much more really from what we gave so I think everyone was pretty happy on that front it would, just would have been nice to get the result after that really You talked earlier about the steps you're making down at the park but do you look at others that have done similar paths in the past like to Ewers, Hill, Nolsey Yeah I mean Dickey? obviously it shows, it shows that it works really doesn't it so the paths put there for us is probably down to us then to use, make the most of it and try and push on and follow in the footsteps of the others that have done it. And I think if we can work hard with that, it probably will come.